Hi, I'm Ken LaRue from Autodesk, and this is a quick walkthrough of how to bake simplified PBR shaders to export via FBX in 3ds Max 2021. Before starting, make sure the model to bake has a UV channel defined, preferably with non-overlapping UV shells for better results. Make sure a material that can generate PBR effects is assigned to the model to bake. In this case, a multi-sub object with three physical materials. Each material is connected to blended box maps with 3DS maps like speckle and noise. A point of note, this is why you cannot see the material in the viewport. Use Arnold Active Shade to validate that the material renders correctly in the renderer. Open the Bake to Texture dialog box. While the object is selected, add the maps that can create the PBR material. Arnold Albedo, Arnold Metalness, Arnold Roughness, and ambient occlusion. In the output column, create a new material as destination. Choose PBR Metal Slash Rough Simplified PBR Material in the browser. Assign each map to the proper material input of the PBR material. Ambient occlusion, AO map. Arnold Metalness, Metalness map. Arnold Roughness, Roughness map. Arnold Albedo, Base Color map. Now adjust the map settings like the size, the padding, the file type, etc. based on what your needs are. In this case, the defaults are being used. Choose a destination folder. Click the Bake button. You can follow the progress of different maps by opening the RGBA dropdown in the frame buffer. View the results by switching the viewport to high quality to show the PBR effects. Witness that the bake material is now connected to the shell material and that the original material is kept for future iterations if need be. The setup is made to allow users to change the original material and rebake with these changes. Export to FBX. Make sure Embedded Media option is on. Use the new option to export from Shell Material and choose Bake Material. Reset 3ds Max and re-import the FBX. Material is preserved. A new PBR material is active for the model for use in 3ds Max or other viewing engines. So that was a quick walkthrough of how to bake simplified PBR shaders to export via FBX in 3ds Max 2021.